Hey guys, funny dude here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I am going to be doing a special video because yesterday, Sunday, super the day of the Super Bowl, Broncos for the win. Sorry, I probably just lost half of my subscribers. <laughs> but um I got 60 subscribers on that day. So I was really happy. And then on Monday, since I was out of school, I was just watching YouTube all day. And I so happened to stumble upon one of my videos. And I saw that I had 499 videos exactly. So, a 60 and 500 video sub special. Or, wait, sub? What? Okay, 60 sub and 500 video special. So, please enjoy. Uh, now, this actually seems like a fun thing that I'd want to do more. So, if I get two likes on this video... I will make another part. So, welcome to 15 things you didn't know, or probably didn't know, about Minecraft. Let's get into the facts. Uh, just a quick warning, I might get some of these from other people because there's not many facts. So, sorry if you see something you do know on here. No, a little tall grass. <laughs> Alright guys, on to the video. You cannot sleep in a bed while poisoned. Probably because of the damage you take. Uh, I assume this is the same for wither. Jump over fences while taking damage. The easiest way to do this is with cactuses, but you can also do it while falling. But cactuses were the way I discovered it, and that's how I'm going to keep it. So, it's a little difficult. Oh, well, I got a first try there. You have to time it. So, yeah, it's not too difficult. But yeah, you. this is something you can do. Oh, well that, that time I went around. Alright. See? Pretty simple. Zombies are the mob that drops the most items, or possibility of them. For example, they could drop iron. Oh, uh, uh, this is naturally, by the way. They could drop iron, zombie flesh, armor that they're wearing, carrots, potatoes, uh, weapons that they're holding. So yeah, they have the most drops uh, than any mob in the game. Uh, yeah. This is weird to me because you literally use obsidian. Probably the strongest block. Uh, yeah, you get the beacon item back. So yeah, pretty odd fact, but can save it durability on your tools. Yeah. You c similar fact, you could break enchantment tables with your wooden pickaxe. This is also extremely helpful, uh, especially if you're playing walls. Uh, and also, you're also for obsidian. For obsidian. Makes less sense. On to the next fact. One and third diamonds. of the way. And diamonds. The maximum amount of pages a book and quill can have, suggested by Shy, is 50. Uh, I'll just get to the 50th page here, and y you'll be able to hear the sound effect, but you won't be able to make a new page. Why you need uh, 51 pages is beyond me, but knock yourself out. This is from my top 10 Minecraft Easter eggs video, but if you break a skull, soul sand particles come out, as in the soul that, that one, I try to be deep, but is it, as if, I did, I don't have a script for this, gosh dang it, as if the soul was still in the head. Yeah, that's good. Bats don't activate stone or wooden pressure plates, but they do activate the iron and gold weighted pressure plate. Very odd. Since armor stands are technically entities, if you place them on the side of a block, well, except for that one. <laughs> oh, wait, you gotta have it raised up. I'm so sorry. You gotta do something like this, and they will go onto any surface and their height will be changed depending on how high the surface is. So, as you can see, there are eight different layers of snow and they get affected by this. This is very helpful in some builds. I know Magma Musin does this quite a bit. I've done this in uh, a little bit of my build as well. So, definitely useful for some of the builders out there. Uh, they can also be placed on half slabs, of course. And also on carpets. So yeah, as you can see, there's a height difference in all of them. On to number 10. 
if water is touched against uh, like the snow layers, it will melt it, unlike the snow block. So you can make kind of secret messages within them. So there's part of it, and then just gotta get the other part right here. As you can see, it only melts the snow layers, and that is supposed to be high, but I did a really bad job. Yeah. Hi. So yeah, melt the s snow layers, so these, but not the snow blocks. Pretty interesting, pretty helpful, if you ask me. Uh, fact number 11, something more on the useless side. <laughs> Anvils can jump on slime blocks. Uh, something a little funny, actually. Uh, you have to have this pretty much exact setup. So if you want me to do a video on it, I can. But eventually the anvil starts glitching out. And eventually it will break once it becomes a very damaged anvil. Now you can also make this a trap. At one point you tell your friends, hey look at the falling anvil. And they're like, ah, or something. I don't know. Something like that. And as you can see, the thing has disappeared. And it should have become a very damaged anvil. Or it might have broke. I'm not sure. It just disappears and becomes an item. On to fact number 12. It's a magical hopper making things disappear. Look, there's nothing even here. Look at it disappear. Okay, sorry for that horrible singing. But anyway, it's actually feeding into this hopper minecart. And I'm going to show you how to set it up really quick right now. Quick little tutorial. Okay. This needs to stop. It's actually very simple. So, I'm not sure how this could be useful. It probably could be. I just can't think of a way. You need two rails like this. Hopper mine car. Go ahead and place it just right there. To where it goes into the block. Uh, place uh, whatever block you're using for flooring there. I guess. Hang on. Gotta push it in a little more. Okay, there we go. Remember where it's at. So, right there. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry for this really bad tutorial. So, make sure it gets pushed in. Place a hopper on top of it. Hopper to the side like that. And then place it in. And, and, voila. It is going into here. On to fact number 13. This is mostly for PC players. But in other editions of the game, blazes drop glowstone. I know they do in the consoles, but I'm not sure about the park edition. So yeah, they drop along with blaze rods glowstone. Pretty interesting. Pretty helpful. On to 14. The runner-up for the last fact. Bad missions can be placed on hardened and stained clay. They can also, of course, be placed on their normal block sand. But just a little tidbit that you might not have known. On to the final fact. Dun dun dun! And for the final fact, mobs on hard difficulty have a small chance of spawning with diamond armor on. So, if you're into farming, definitely do it on hard mode because you may be able to get yourself some luscious diamond armor. So yeah, that's uh, pretty neat, right? That is something I didn't know. I think Ethan does gaming and or MRD told me this. I was one of those two. And like I was like didn't believe them, and then I saw for myself. It was, it was like the I've only ever seen one naturally spawn. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. My diamonds, smash that like button. My diamonds, go page. See you guys later. Old and old outro. This is awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm. S uh, that's so weird. Why am I weird? <laughs>